Hi, I'm Rajiv, part of our Teams team here at Microsoft, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Whether it's your first day on the job or you're just looking to learn a new skill in the workplace, Viva Learning in Teams is a fantastic way to learn in the flow of work through a simple and personalized experience. So let's take a look at the Viva Learning app in Teams. Now, if it's your first time using the app, you can find it in the store or by using the three dots in the left pane. Just search Viva Learning and add it to Teams. And you can easily pin the app by right-clicking. Now, once it's added, you can start in the home view where you'll self-select your interests to receive personalized suggestions from the Microsoft and LinkedIn Learning content library. And if your company has connected any of our learning partners or uploaded any custom trainings, you'll see that content in the home view as well. Here you can search and filter by your interests, content provider, or duration. So let's say I'm a frontline worker looking for the latest safety training. I can search for that course, and I can filter for only my company's content to find what I'm looking for. On this page, I can quickly launch the course either right within Teams or in a browser, or I can even bookmark it to save it for later. One of my favorite features of Viva Learning is being able to share and recommend learning content all within the flow of work. You can easily share a course to a Teams channel or chat using the share button. So I can do that here and I'll share it in my Teams group channel by searching for the team and tapping share. I can even add a comment. I could also share this out to a Teams chat if I wanted to. If your company has the full Viva Learning plan, you can easily recommend a course to a team so it shows up within their Viva Learning app. So now let's say I'm a manager. I found this course really helpful and I wanna recommend it to my new team members. Right from the course page, I can tap recommend and recommend it to a whole team or directly with a coworker. So I'm gonna recommend this one to Alex. I can even include a note and a due date if I'd like. And my team members will see this course show up in their My Learning view, along with any other assignments, things they've saved for later, and recently viewed courses. And since I just recommended that course to Alex, I can track his completion in the Manage tab as well. Another way to include Viva Learning in your team's flow of work as a manager is by adding a learning tab. So let me go to my team channel and I can click the plus at the top and then add Viva Learning as a tab and let me populate it with some recommended content for my team. So let's say I'm creating an onboarding learning channel and I can add a couple courses here to start building out my library. And with the newest features coming soon to the learning tab, you'll have the ability to upload your own content for things like crowdsourced learning or scenarios like this for team onboarding. Viva Learning is also integrated throughout Teams, so I can share courses directly in a chat as well. So when I'm chatting with a new employee or a group of new hires, I can share that same course directly with them in the chat by tapping the Viva Learning icon on the bottom, searching for the course, and sharing it in the chat. That's just a few easy ways to use Viva Learning in Teams. Whether you're a frontline worker looking to stay up to date on the latest trainings, or a knowledge worker looking to learn a new skill, or maybe a manager looking to foster a culture of learning on your own team, Viva Learning lets you do all of that without ever leaving Teams. Try it out today and start fostering a culture of growth and upskilling within your company. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on what's new and explore all the ways you can use Microsoft Teams.